a very good morning learners i am vemuri ankara fani babu working as a associate professor in department of mechanical engineering uh, right now working at nlr institute of technology hyderabad uh, today my topic will be basics of metallurgy in which i will be dealing with the introduction of the metallurgy need its elements uh, work pieces instruments persons environment and their effects on precision and accuracy of a uh, metallurgy instruments then errors in metallurgy instruments errors in measuring uh standards then types of uh, errors then how to control it then what are the types of standards for a met metallurgy equipment so coming to the introduction to metallurgy it it is a greek word uh, it's a two greek words uh, one is metro and logy so in greek metro means uh, measurement and logy means a science in greek right so metallurgy is a science of precision in instruments and a uh, engineer can say it as the science of measurement of lengths angles and all its related quantities like uh, length width depth diameter straightness with high accuracy so metallurgy depends uh, it demands pure knowledge of certain basic material mathematical and physical quantities and also related to mathematical and physical principles the development of the industry is very largely depending upon the engineering metallurgy so metallurgy is concerned uh with the uh, development uh, development establishment reproduction and also conversation uh, conservation and transfer of units of measurements and their standards also so irrespective of the branch of engineering all engineers should know about various instruments and its techniques so so coming to uh, uh, its definition measurement is a, is defined as a process of numerical evaluation of a particular dimension or the process of comparison with the st uh, standard measuring instruments right so the elements of uh, measuring system includes instrumentation and uh, uh, its calibration standards and its in uh, environmental influences and human op uh, human operator uh, Uh, limitations and features of the workpiece also so the basic aim of measurement in industries is to check whether a component which has been manufactured is up to the requirement of a specification or not so mainly the aim of measurement is to go for quality control checks so objectives of metallurgy will be uh, uh, namely we can say that the first one is complete evaluation of a newly developed product then determination of the process capabilities and uh, ensure that they are better than the relevant uh, component interfaces or component tolerances and uh, third one is determination of measuring instrument capabilities and ensure they are quite sufficient for the respective particular uses uh, for the uh, particular measurements then coming to fourth minimizing the cost of inspection by effective and efficient uh, use of available facilities then the last is reduction of uh, cost of rejects that is scrap uh, cost can be rejected uh, can be reduced and uh, the, uh, we can stop rework of application of standard quality control techniques also and we can standardize the measuring method also so physical properties such as length weight uh, temperature are determined by comparison with the known quantities in addition measurement techniques are available in all engineering dis uh, disciplines as i said and allow for the creation of operation of all scientific branches in particular measurement techniques are required at levels of all laboratory works in fact we practically measure many things like uh, generally like uh, the weight of our body the volume of our uh, fuel which we will uh, be Uh, getting the fill in our tanks of uh, two wheeler or a four wheeler the temperature of the house or uh, the noise levels of of the traffic or noise levels at a factory the distance between two points etc like this many are there so in addition to have an important place in our daily life the measurement technique is the basics of almost all science branches such as physics chemistry and biology the so measurement techniques are used to solve technical problems at all science branches so theoretical hypotheses are supported by proving correctness by means of measurement technique uh, by by making by making necessary experiments and uh, uh, what we call uh, necessary observations also so generally metallurgy is a science of measurement which covers all practical theoretical topics based on measurements regardless of accuracy levels and application area uh even measurement processes measurement methods and the procedures instrumentation calibration determination of measurements uh, uh, systems verification measurement accuracy measurement precision uh, 
measurement error, uh, even for data acquisition, evaluation of measurement results, the formation of statical evaluations and quality determination are the main subjects of the metrology. So, the recognition that the measurement made by an industrial device is recognized worldwide and is same for any other measurement made possible by achieving the highest precision basic measurement standard. So, it is ensured that all measurements carried out are accepted nationally and or internationally depending upon the uh, usage of the uh, equipment at the particular environment or the, uh, at the particular uh, human interfaces. So, calibration is the process of establishing a link between the values indicated by a measuring instrument or measuring system. Uh, under certain conditions and values obtained by measuring instrument and corresponding values of corresponding measured values. So, coming uh, as we said, uh, it, it is a basic introduction of uh, metrology, how it is used and everything. So, why do we need metrology in our basic lives? As I said, see simple four, uh, four uh, sentences, measurement is a process of comparing inputs with a predefined standard and uh, giving output, it is a science of measurement. It also concerned with the industrial in inspection and also various techniques. For every kind of quantity measured, there should be a unit to be measured, right? So, something it should be in quantitative or qualitative things. It should be represented, right? So, in this is simple process formula. So, as we know, some standard quantity that is known quantity, it has to be compared then compared to what measurement? So, unknown quantity. So, standard quantity is a known quantity which is recognized nationally and internationally and measuring which we are going to uh, measure. These two are compared then the result will be declared that is numerical value will be decided. So, measurement is nothing but a physical quantity such as length, weight and angle to be measured and uh, references to compare measuring physical one with a known standard for evaluation. Then standard is nothing but simple standard is the physical quantity or property to which quantity quantity comparisons are to be made which is internationally accepted. So, here we are mentioning national or not national even for international acceptance it should be given. So, what is the need for a measurement? To convert physical parameters to meaning, meaningful numbers. If I say uh, uh, take any pap paper or uh, take any uh, screen size, if I say a screen is huge or uh, uh, large, it, it, it is not a meaningful sentence. So, it should be measured with a meaningful number. So, it should be, uh, if, if, uh, if I said uh, about the screen, then it should be having some length breadth, right? So, what are the pixels and everything? So, next point is to determine the two dimensions of a part, then by doing these two dimensions and the meaningful numbers, we will increase our knowledge and we will be understanding all parts of the part of the world, that is components of the world. So, needed for ensuring public health and human safety, to test if this elements that constitute the system will be functioning as per the design while developing uh, particular instrument. Then for evaluating the performance of a system to ensure interchangeability to view to promote mass production. So, here interchangeability means it means if a system or if a equipment is being designed and it is functioning as per the design, then it can be changed for any other quantity or quality which is which we are going to measure. So, it should be feasible to measure one or two measurements. Then to establish validity of design and for fun finding new data and new designs. So, always we will be uh, thriving for new equipments and new measurements. So, at first we are using scale, then uh, we, we got veneers, then we got uh, uh, finally we are getting laser uh, uh, measuring devices. So, uh, always development for new data and new designs for the equipments will be there always. So, what, how many types of metrologists are there? Till now we have chosen, we have uh, came to know what is the measurements, or what, what part of science is uh, involved in measurement, then what is the need for measurement in our daily lives and now we are going for types of metrologists. So, there are basically, there are three types of metrologists, that is in the, in industrial metrology, scientific metrology and legal metrology. So, industrial metrology in the name itself it is being particularly used for industry and it is used for ensuring that instruments used in variety of industries are functioning properly. So, if a scale is being used continuously, if a steel rule is being used continuously for 6 months or 7 months, 
uh, in an environment where all iron uh, parts are there and uh, if it is being not uh, kept safe after the use then scale may get bent where our readings will be totally uh, uh, what we can say is uh, totally wrong so for uh, for making it perfect so that scale has to be cali calibrated in a minimal minimum time after usages so coming to second category it is scientific metrology the name itself is saying scientific which deals with the organization and development of measurement standards and with their maintenance so here there is a link between scientific metrology and industrial metrology once the organization and development of measurement standards have been completed in scientific metrology they can be used in industrial metrology so coming to legal metrology this is totally concerned with legal that is economic transactions so the measurements that influence with economic transactions like uh, as we said scientific uh, metrology and industrial metrology are interrelated all equipments which have been uh, uh, organization and develop, uh, development have been done with the measurement standards these are linked and are used for metro, uh, industrial metrology so coming to legal metrology concerned with the same measurements as the name itself is saying legal so legal in the sense it, it should be economic uh, economically feasible for us so concerned with the measurements that influence economic transactions and legal metrology is very refined type of metrology generally we have a in our indian government we have a department for this department of metrology where our standard uh, uh, what uh, 1 kg stones 500 grams 250 grams have been uh, measured with the, uh, standard uh, equipment which we have at the uh, metrology department then they will be stamping for one year or six months purposes working purposes so, so coming to generalized measurement systems so what are the components of a generalized measurement system the components will be sensing elements maybe conversion element then manipulation elements then we have to go for processing uh, processing element then transmission and data presentation elements so primary sensing element variable variable uh, uh, variable conversion element uh, and uh, manipulation elements data processing elements data transmission system data presentation system we will be discussing every component separately so see here i have made a <coughs> link between all the elements available physical quantity to be measured the first one it, it it will be giving an input signal to primary sensing element then in turn it will be going for variable conversion element conversion element will be converted a signal to variable manipulation elements then this manipulation element will be amplified will be sent as an amplified signal to data data transmission element then this data will be processed in data processing element then this processed element will be sent as a process signal to data presentation element then this data presentation element is a converted into converted into human readable form which will be going for the observer observer is nothing but the customer for the for that particular uh, quantity so coming to separately as i said separately we will be discussing primary sensing element so the primary sensing element receives signal of the physical quantity to be measured as an input so it converts the signal to a suitable form either it may be electrical mechanical or any other form so that it becomes easier for other elements of the measurement systems and to convert or to manipulate it coming to variable conversion element see variable conversion element so variable ele uh, conversion will converts the output of the primary sensing element to a more suitable form to a more suitable form which can be understandable easily if necessary only it can be used if necessary only only conversion can be a conversion element can be used only if it is necessary otherwise we will go for the primary sensing element itself directly so coming to variable manipulation element variable manipulation element manipulates that is it changes it may either increase or it may decrease and also amplify it the amplify the output of the variable conversion and it also move, removes the noise if present if there is any uh, disturbance in sending any signals it, it can be reduced here coming to data processing so in the name itself it is it will be taking the data then it will be processing then it will be sending it so the processing the data signal received from the variable manipulation which has been already manipulated in the previous step it, it will be processing the data then it produces a suitable output this output will be sending through data transmission systems so it, uh, in this data transmission system 
it will be used for transmitting data from one element to other element from one one uh, one element to other element that is from processing element to transmission from processing to manipulation element uh, before uh, in the before slide we have gone for variable manipulation element right so this data transmission system will be acting as a communication link between different elements it is simply so if the name itself is saying data transmission it just creates a uh, link between one element to another element of the generalized measuring system so coming to data presentation element presentation right so it it is used to present the measured physical quantity in a human readable form so presentation so what i am doing is a presentation so it is easy to you to read so whatever the data has been came from data transmission system will be in a readable form to the observer so it may be in led displays or most commonly used as data presentation elements in measure, many measuring instruments so for understanding all these elements uh, i have taken a small example of a of one instrument see i will be coming from uh, what uh, uh, bottom left side to uh, right side in a clockwise direction so here the physical quantity which has to be measured so th temperature is being measured here so the, the conversion element is from this there is a conversion element that is we will be sending it that wrapper will be sent to in, in the form of pressure to a gauge which will be again moving out so this capillary tube which uh, the pressure is being passed through this right so this will be our transmission element so it is being transmitted right so after this tube spiral bottom tube it comes here so from here it will be conversion of the element so in, from here it is pressure then it will be in mechanical moment where in turns it will be moving this linkages this one linkage and gear so as soon as pressure is being put in this will be moved so this will be our manipulation so since this pressure is coming out here and it is it is being uh, converted into uh, uh, the quantity is being increased or decreased here that will be done in manipulation element from there we will be getting a presentation element so presentation element is in readable form either it may be uh, in a scale or it will be it may be used in led displays directly this is mechanical scale so we can read it or it it can also be uh, displayed in a uh, led display which directly we can read so what are the standards for all these metrology so so metrology standard is an object or a system that bears a defined uh, relationship to a unit of measurement of a physical quantity physical quantity either it may be length breadth width lbd or whatever it is it may be temperatures may be uh, angular whatever it is so these standards are basically four one is international standards primary standards secondary standards and working standards internationally primary secondary and working standards so depending upon the functions and applications standards of measurements are classified into this four international primary secondary and working so first international standards so defined by the international agreement so every uh, what uh, every country is having its own metrology standards so this international standards will be accepted by any of the country existing on this earth and these international uh, standards will be period periodically evaluated and checked by absolute measurements in terms of fundamental units of physics see here as i said in the introduction even physics chemistry and biology will be using uh, metrology so from the fundamental units of physics that is length mass uh, time and everything these fundamental units will be again periodically evaluated and then we will go for an international ag agreement for uh, standardizing all the um uh, all the parameters which we, we will be checking out so it represents certain units of measurements to be closest possible accuracy closest possible we are not saying that it will be 100% perfect it is closest possible accuracy attainable by the science and technology of the measurements so these standards are not available in ordinary uses like measurement and calibration this is only uses uh, only used in certain units of measurements to the closest possible accuracy attainable so the main function of calibration and verification of secondary standard this is now coming to primary standard this is the main function of calibration and verification of secondary standard so this standards primary standard will be used to check uh, verify the secondary standard which will be in the second slide and these are maintained as a national standard laboratory so primary standards are restricted to the particular countries only it is not internationally recognized all these countries like this will be added 
uh, will be coming to a agreement which will be count uh, which will be as a international agreement of the previous one so for india national physical laboratory at N nsl will be saying npl sorry npl will be saying a national physical laboratory is, uh, which is located in uh, new delhi will be our national standard laboratory for india so primary uh, in the primary standards are not available for the use outside the national laboratory so these primary standards as i said are restricted to particular country only in our india it is national standard laboratory nsl right so the these primary standards are objective standards with high accuracy and can be utilized as ultimate reference only reference standards to check then we can calibrate it then certify the secondary standards so as i said primary standards will always check for the secondary <coughs> standard sorry so coming to the st secondary standard these are the these are the basic reference standards used by the measurement and calibration laboratories in industries but once you remember before going for secondary standards we will always go for primary standards then they can be derived to the secondary standards these standards are maintained by particular industry to which they belong every industry will be having their particular standards each industry has its own secondary standard every industry will be having their own standard laboratory small lab but these labs are aligned with national lab each industry has its own secondary standard and each laboratory periodically sends its secondary standard to national standards as i said nsl for calibration comparing against the primary standard as i said nsl will be maintaining primary standards so if at all secondary standards every industry is have is maintaining a, sep a separate secondary uh, standards then that particular equipments will be send send it to national standard laboratory for calibration and comparison against primary standards and after comparison and calibration the nsl the nsl will be returning to the secondary standards to a particular industry laboratory with a certification of measuring accuracy in that but for this every calibration certificate will be having having an expiry date depending upon the usages of that particular instrument maybe that particular uh, uh, certification of measuring accuracy may be changed for every month quarterly or uh, uh, <coughs> six months or one year span of time so coming to the working standard is these are particularly used in measuring laboratory of every industry separate industry right as we are saying from primary we have derived to secondary secondary then we are going for working standard these standards will be used for measuring in the laboratory itself use it to check and calibrate all laboratory instruments for accuracy and performance for example if we take a, for instance manufacturing of mechanical components such as shafts bearing gears etc use a standard called working standard for checking the component dimension so we will be using for bearing gear uh, bearing shaft bearing gear we will be checking for the component dimensions particularly so even plug gauge is used for checking the bore diameter you, you already know plug gauge right so plug gauge will be uh, plug gauge will be used for checking the bore diameter of every bearing so these are the standards for working uh, these are the working standards which are aligned with secondary and primary <coughs> coming to the units as i said in our uh, starting only every unit will be should be measured in quantitative right so in our methodology we are having primarily three primary units supplementary units and derived units primary units you already know meters kgs kilojoules supplementary units like radians that is angular uh, uh, measurements and derived units are kgs per kilojoules these will be calculated with the formulas then we will be getting out uh, kgs per kilojoules right so summary of my topic till now is uh, we have dealt with the measurements and its uh, metrology measurements and its introductions and what is the need for uh, measurements and how many types of metrologies are there <coughs> in detail and the components of generalized measuring uh, uh, systems and how they are uh, aligned with each other then coming uh, we have discussed about the standards and we have discussed about the units right uh, thank you uh, for your time valuable time thank you